Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akiyam throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about can you can you judge? Um, I actually got into a back and forth with a girl on the Internet about judging. And I gave her so many scriptures on on whether you can judge or cannot judge. And, and the girl just could not comprehend. That's why the Bible says, let every man be persuaded in his own mind. She just could not get it, you know. And of course you can judge, man. You got to judge. Damn, you look at your T-shirt before you walk out the house and judge whether it looks good or not. I mean, damn, you judge something. And then you got to judge people. How are you going to correct somebody? The, the scriptures talk about correcting um, your brother, man. You, you got to correct somebody, but you got to do it by judging. You got to judge. So when you judge, you you know, you, you're judging um, a righteous judgment. Scriptures tell you, tell you to right, uh, judge righteously. You can judge uh, wickedly and uh, righteously, man. You got to judge righteously, man. All right. If you if you're going to that's why the scriptures tell you to take the moat out thy eye, you know, because if you're going to be doing something wicked and you're telling somebody else not to do wicked wickedness and you're doing the same thing that you told them not to do, you're a hypocrite. You're you're you. That's 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 misinformation. That's that's bad judgment because you're you're living by the do as I say, not as I do. So your actions don't match, you know, what you're trying to teach. So, so when you do judge, you want to judge according to the word, according to the law, of course, which the law is still here. And you got to judge people, man, so you can, so that you can correct them. All right. So I'm trying to make this lesson as quick as possible. Just a couple scriptures. All right. This is a uh, first Corinthians two and 15. It says, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Why? Because you're judging spiritually. All right? You're judging in the spirit, all right? which is according to the word. All right. So when you are judging in all things, you're seeing how to live your life correctly. So nobody can judge you because you're because you use righteous judgment and you judge yourself. Why? Because, you know, you, you, you're, you're examining the, you thyself, like the scriptures tell you. The scriptures tell you to examine thyself. So you're examining yourself and you're examining other people. The scriptures tell you to, to, uh, to mark them that cause division. That's a judgment. That meaning to, to mark them, meaning to watch them. So you got to judge them, man. All right? That's being spiritual, man. You know, because they're teaching against the doctrine. So you got to mark them. You got to watch them. All right. <sighs> Slocky. That's a form of judgment. All right. Verse 16. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Hamashiach Yahweh We have the mind of the Lord. And he was here making judgments. All right. So you got to judge righteously, man, and spiritually, all right, so you, that you're not judged, all right? Um, this is the law, all right? This is Leviticus 19 and 15. It says, ye shall do no unrighteous in, unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the persons of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness, thou shalt judge thy neighbor. So this is how you judge. You judge in righteousness. You judge according to the law. And you don't have a respect to persons. No matter how high or low their stature is, judge them righteously. Because a spiritual man 
judges all things. All right. And with that, all praises to Yahweh, why Yahweh shy.